वेरी फर्स्ट वन वॉज इन विच द माइटोसिस और मियोसिस जिसके अंदर हमारा पूरा साइटो कैरियोकाइनेसिस का पोर्शन होता है एंड देन वी हैव द साइटोकाइनेसिस पोर्शन इन विच द साइटोप्लाजम गेट डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट एंड वी हैव टू डॉटर सेल्स सो टूडे वी हैव टू डू द फेस ट्रांजेक्शन फेस ट्रांजेक्शन इन सिंपल वर्ड मीन्स और वी आर डूइंग द चेक पॉइंट द इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट अबाउट दिस इज दैट वी हैव टू कम्प्लीट द चेक पॉइंट इन द सेल साइकिल दैट मीन्स वेन अ सेल गोज फ्रॉम जी वन टू एस देर नीड टू बी सम प्रूफ रीडिंग डन देर शुड बी सम प्रूफ दैट नीड टू बी टेकन दैट येस द सेल हैव ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट असेंशियल एलिमेंट विच इट रिक्वायर्स इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप सो वी हैव जी वन टू एस फेज वी हैव एस फेज फर्स्ट is g1 to s phase transition or the checkpoint then we have the checkpoint over here in the synthesis phase then we have in the g2 to m or metaphase ke andar uh, mitosis ke andar we have in the metaphase to anaphase checkpoint so we'll discuss it with the help of these particular slides so ye direct mere notes hain so ye easy hoga aur better tarike se samajh mein aayega sabko visible hai screen ke upar yes ma'am okay so the very first one is g1 to s transition we have the phases as g1 s g2 g2 and m phase first we are doing g1 to s phase transition so in this particular transition the most important thing we have to remember is or in simple word in every checkpoint there is one thing need to be done and that is whether the complete जो काम हमारा प्रीवियस फेज में होना है दैट मीन्स जो जो काम वट एवर वर्क इन जी जी वन फेज हैज टू बी डन वेदर इट इज कम्प्लीटेड और नॉट दिस इज द मेन प्राइमरी गोल ऑफ द चेक पॉइंट और द ट्रांजेक्शन सो द वेरी फर्स्ट वन इज द जी वन टू एफ ट्रांजेक्शन इन दिस वी हैव द ग्रोथ फैक्टर and we have the receptor the receptor is present on the plasma membrane so now this growth factor comes and bind to the receptor which leads to the activation of ras map kinase pathway now what is all this we will be doing this fd doing all these pathways in the cell signaling i have just completed the presentation for that today itself so uske andar we we'll understand about all this so now what happens is now this ras map kinase uh, because of this ras map kinase pathway there occurs the initiation or the activation of some transcription factors now for because of these transcription factors we have two important elements as the cyclins and the cdks if you all remember yesterday we discussed about that in every transition we require some specific cyclins and cdks so in case of g1 to s transition we require first the cdk46 and the cyclin d and in addition we also require the other one that is cdk2 and cyclin E, ये कल हमने डिस्कस किया था नाउ ये दोनों जो साइक्लिन है बोथ ऑफ दीज दीज पेयर दे वर्क टूगेदर इन द फर्स्ट केस इनिशियली सी डी के फोर एंड सी डी के सिक्स गेट दे आर इन एक्टिव इन नेचर नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सी ए के वॉट हैपन दीज सी डी केज एंड साइक्लिन बिकम एक्टिव नाउ वेन दे बिकम एक्टिव वॉट हैपन वी हैव R B that is retinoblastoma and E two F these both are present and they both are because of the R B is active and the E two F is inactive. Now we have to inactivate or we have to inactivate R B and we have to activate the E two F transcription factor. When we have C D K four six D C D K four six and cyclin D active. what happens there occurs partial phosphorylation of retinoblastoma and the still this particular complex is active and e2f is inactive we need to get this e2f active because ye hi hame baad mein jo next factor hai jo next hamara cycle hai uske transition mein help karega so we have e2f inactive still why because this rb have captured the e2f with itself because of its active nature in the first step cdk46 and cyclin d they 
partially phosphorylate the RB, but still the complete phosphorylation need to be done, which is done by the help of CDK2 and cyclin E. Now this RB that is retinoblastoma gets completely phosphorylated and it leaves the E2F. So now E2F transcription factor is now active. This E2F transcription factor now goes to the nucleus. In the nucleus, it again phosphorylates or it again activates few other transcription factors like FUS, JNU and CMYC. Now because of all these in sub transcription factors ke active hone ki wajho se the, the, all this helped in the formation of cyclin A, ORIC and MCM helicase and if you all remember these are the things that are required or that are actually required for the G1 to S transition. Now what is a retinoblastoma? So retinoblastoma is tumor suppressor. It is active when unphosphorylated if you remember abhi humne, we have just discussed that rb when it is active it is not phosphorylated or active in case of unphosphorylated situation it becomes inactive when it is completely phosphorylated initially cyclin cdk4 6 and cdk d works they partially phosphorylates the retinoblastoma and after that cdk Two and cyclin E, they comes and completely phosphorylates the retinoblastoma. You have to remember ki konsa cyclin partial phosphorylation karata hai or konsa complete karata hai. Okay, so this was about the G1 to S transition. Second, we have S to G2 transition. In S to G2 transition or the G2 to M transition, what happens? Remember it this way. So now in every step, we require different components or different uh, variables are required. In case of S to G2 and G2 to M phase transition, we require CDC2. And CDC2 is also given the name of CDK1. You have to remember the alternate names as well. So we have CDC2 and CDK1. Now, this particular complex is active which is inhibitory in uh, this particular complex is active now w double e1 which is the kinase it is inhibitory when it is inhibitory it would inactivate the cdk1 or the cdc2 now when it inactivates why or what is the reason for inactivation because there occurs the addition of tyrosine at the 15 phosphate and then uh, uh, phosphatase ki wajah se ye add hoga and now up ye inactive jo hai ye cdc25 ki wajah se you can see in the figure cdc25 ki wajah se now the cdk1 becomes active initially it was active w double e1 comes it is a kinase which is inhibitory so now cdk1 or cdc2 ye dono alternate names hai ye inactive hota hai now cdc25 jo hai jo yahan par tyrosine 15th phosphate ke upar add hua hai usko remove out karega because w double e1 ne which is inhibitory in nature isne isko remove out karke usko wapas se activate kiya now in case of g2 to m and in case of s to g2 transition cdk1 if it binds to cdc13 if it binds to cdc13 or oh, and also cyclin b what happens we have cdk1 and the cyclin b they both bind together jiski wajah se mpf which is match, uh, maturation promoting factor it activates or maturation promoting factor activate hone ki wajah se 